that was announced earlier in court at the Johannesburg Magistrates Court. And our reporter, Griselda Lewis, is now at Witz University. And Griselda, we understand that students have made their way back to Witz. So has that ruling been a bit of a blow to the students and the fees movement? What are they saying? Well, Natasha, I'm really struggling uh, to hear you here this afternoon, but as you can see here behind me, students are now gathering at the Holy Trinity Church, which is on the, which is on the premises of uh, the Wits University main campus, and they're saying they're going to strategize now on a way forward after their student leader, Debo Lamini, was denied bail. These students are essentially saying that the battle lines are drawn now after Debo Lamini was denied bail, after the magistrate had indicated that uh, one of the reasons why he said he was denying bail was after uh, findings that uh, the student leader, according to the court, had lied about uh, the registration for one of the courses at Wits University. And the court essentially is saying that it cannot guarantee that Lamini would uh, embark on more violent action as they're seen. Uh, the court had also pointed out very strongly to the photos that were handed in, of course, by the, by the state. Uh, which showed that um, Gabo Lamini had been involved in a number of incidents. So the court uh, are really indicating there that uh, it cannot say for certain at this stage that uh, the, the affidavit that was written by the student leader, was uh, they could really rely on it as a court, and also indicating uh, at this point that it was in the best interest of justice for him to be denied bail at this point. Criselda, we'll leave it there. Criselda Lewis. Uh, live uh, from uh, Wits University. Uh, let's go back to Mweli Masilele, our reporter.